I'm Pastor Mark for the Lutheran Church Extension Fund, Vice President of Ministry Solutions, here for another ministry moment to help your ministries move forward according to God's will. The pandemic of 20 and 21 has caused human quarantines and physical distancing now for almost a year, and we can only hope and pray there is an end in sight. This phenomenon has caused the local congregations to do things differently, out of necessity. I suspect some things will never quite go back to the way they once were. Now, one of the changes that this pandemic caused many churches to do was to provide streaming worship and Bible studies. If your congregation is streaming right now, do you envision a day that you will actually stop streaming? You know, for as challenging as it is for worship to be virtual practically, and for some components theologically, it's probably here to stay. But just this past weekend, I learned of a member of one of our churches that her husband now tunes in virtually every week. Prior to this, it was Christmas and Easter only. Now he's not ready to come back in person, but streaming has provided an avenue for the Holy Spirit and the Word to impact this person in a new way. That brings up the point of this ministry moment, streaming hospitality. You know how important hospitality is when people actually gather together in person. In fact, we probably need to do more of it. Streaming hospitality is just what it says it is. Streaming hospitality. Most of us are used to tuning into our church hour for worship and clicking it on in their virtual setting and then clicking it off at the last hymn. Well, that may work for your members, but that's not all that helpful or good for people who don't have a congregational family. In fact, I'm not so sure it's even good for your members. It's too individualistic, consumer-like. We do it because it's easy. So why not start your worship service 15 minutes ahead of time? Let viewers appreciate the work of preparation that goes into worship, altar prep, acolytes checking candles, elders maybe praying over their pastor in the chancel area so that everybody can see that people should be praying for their pastors and DCEs and deacons and other staff. Finally, we see people praying in the pews maybe, and you might just hear a little chit-chatting among people who are assembling. Let's step it up just a little bit more, if you will. Incorporate a host or two who show up on camera just for your online worshiping members and guests. They show up before worship formally begins. This is especially helpful for your guests. The host should be laity and not your pastor. Of course, they know what they're going to say and they know what they're going to do. Pastor has prepped them for that. And you may just even have a properly trained communication team who've helped to ready the talking points of that day and also know what not to say on camera. In a nutshell, here's what they'll do. The online hosts welcome everyone to worship, share a few interesting things that happened in the church that week, share a couple of points about the subject matter in pastor's sermon. Maybe they even talk about that Sunday in the church year. Any number of things to help make it more personally edifying for the virtual participant. Now, after worship, leave the camera running for an additional 15 minutes. Don't just turn it off. Let people experience what happens after worship, what people do. Again, the host can come back on camera, ask for prayer requests and how to do that. Maybe highlight a member of the church, even interview them so that people can hear why this person loves the church so much and why they follow and serve their Lord Jesus. You see, the point is that you want your services to be more than content focused. Let it also be relationally focused. M let people make connections with other people. Stream your services in anticipation of people actually being welcome to join you in person one day. Believe it or not, most people who haven't been to church in a while are terrifically afraid to show up in person. Streaming hospitality. There's more to this than one video can share but this should help you start to think it through. If we can help you think or dream about how to plan for streaming hospitality or some other communication planning process, start by connecting with your LCF District Vice President or email ministry.solutions at lcef.org.